And unlike any system of beliefs I know of, this Judeo-Christian faith, it boldly claims that this mess, this mess that we see is built into the very heart of God. This is why God is called Emmanuel, God with us in this mess, in this pain. This mess is central to the story. Now, the death of Jesus shows that God does not accept this broken world, that pain and justice are given a solution here. Now, now many of you might think that, you know, love, the, gods, the God of love and the God of wrath don't fit together at all. But I think they fit perfectly together, and I'll tell you why. If I have my baby girl that you saw, and if somebody's hurting that girl, there will be wrath in my heart. And I would want justice to happen, and the world set right, and her to be set right. You see, the opposite of love is not wrath. The opposite of love is indifference. If I don't care what happens to my daughter. And at the cross, I see that this God is not indifferent. He pours the wrath on his son due to his love for us. It's an amazing thing that in this death, God actually shares the responsibility with us. It blows me away. And the resurrection of Jesus, you know, this resurrection, it's not a spiritual ghost of a resurrection, but it's a flesh and blood resurrection, which means it says that the physical world matters. Flesh matters, sex matters, ice cream matters, earth matters. This beautiful world will not be tossed aside. 